If you like to plan a trip using the Google Maps app on public transportation, start by typing in the name of the location or the exact address in the search box. It's also good to keep in mind the time the establishment closes as well as the phone number and website. Next, you tap on directions. From there, you put in your departure location. Here, we're departing from Central Park. Tap on the public transportation icon. From there, you're given several options. The top option looks like it's the best in this instance because it has the least amount of walking. Once you tap on the first option, the map pulls up and you'll see all of the directions for your trip. And here, just briefly, you see that we start at Central Park. Then you're instructed to walk for one minute. And if you look to the right here, where you see the little icon for the map, if you tap on that, it'll give you specific map dots that shows you the route to the public transportation station. And then at the top right side of the map, you'll see the speaker icon. So that uh, toggles on the alerts. You can mute and you can unmute. Now, once you walk to the station, you see it says 5th Avenue and 59th Street. So you enter via the Grand Army Plaza in Central Park South at Northeast Corner area. You have to follow signs for downtown in Brooklyn NRW, and it shows Bay Ridge 95th Street. And in this example, because of the time that we're looking at this map, it shows that the transportation is early by four minutes, so it shows 2.40 as the arrival. And they have other options for departures as well. From here, you're instructed to get off at the 34th Street Herald Square subway station and exit via Broadway and 32nd Street at the northwest corner. Soon after, you have to walk two minutes and then wait for up to six minutes. And again, you have your friendly map, your walking map with the dots to show you where to go from there. Then you're instructed to take the 33rd Street path train and it says Path Journal Square was scheduled in 19 minutes, so it gives you a time, 2.57 p.m. It also gives you some alternative times as well as it shows that there are six stops for this ride, and that is a 19-minute ride. And from there, you'll end up at the Grove Street Station at 3.16 p.m. And a quick note, in yellow, we have the subway station trains and the Path trains are in orange. And as was indicated earlier, the blue dots on the map represent the walking path between the two stations. And as you see at the end from the Grove Street station, they recommend that you take Lyft. So they at the time said it was about a month, one minute wait, but of course it can vary. But they uh, advertised it for about $8.70 for that ride. They also provide other ride alternatives. If you take a regular car, it would be an eight minute drive and then 39 minutes if you were to walk. But from there, you will end up at your destination, which is the Statue of Liberty in New York City.